在此，宣判。They're adding a new game mode, permanent game mode. It's like gonna have like commissions and stuff tied to it or weekly missions or whatever. It's a card game. I'm what, I'm 24. I spent like six, five, six years of my life playing a card game for a living. Traveling the world playing a card game. Now, just as I start playing Genshin Impact, I started, I, I started playing on launch, but like I got into Genshin Impact in like 2.9, 3.0, I started playing actively. They're adding a card game. It's a sign. They're like, Luker, this is for you. Open up, baby. It's a plane. I'm so excited, and it actually looks pretty fleshed out. Uh, Genius, these look really well done. Popular card game in Teyvat. Coming soon in 3.3, that's so far. 3.3 is what? 3.1 is September, October, is November? We'll play cards in Genshin Impact, it's like end of November. There's new gameplay mode. You can invite characters and NPCs to play. Of course, you must play games against friends for fun. Normal style, so they have different attack styles then. This is mainly a PvE mode that's light and casual. There are no rewards for PvP. Lame! I'm still gonna play this though. All cards can be acquired through gameplay. Spare time you can play a game with your friends. It looks really pretty though. Like the cards look really cool. Honestly, it's kind of a shame that they said it's like mostly a casual game. Cause like, I feel like they could have made it pretty intense, sold physical copies and that shit would have popped. I would buy every single card. Okay, I wanna look at this though. So what do we see here? So three cards each. I'm guessing this is your hand. So this is probably your hand. Center development's not final. So this is your hand. These are cards you can play. This looks like a location. It has like a timer effect. So this is like, you have two turns until it resolves or something. This is who you're playing against. I'm guessing these are like field cards, right? Like effects, spells or something. I know in the leaks, you're not supposed to read leaks, but in the leaks, it said like you get elemental mastery and then you can use abilities. So I'm guessing these little gems are your elemental mastery charge and when it's like charged up, you probably use it. It looks so pretty though. You have like an element effect here. So I'm guessing like typing matters. It might be like Pokemon. Yeah, it's nice there's not much text on the cards. Your opponents switch characters in queue. So you turn, you change characters. So I'm guessing one's like the active character and like they're probably stronger for that turn or something. This is probably health. Oh, we can actually see if it's health because Mona got hit, right? We'll see if the health went down. Okay, it is eight. So yeah, that's their health then. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so when you attack, you get EM. I'm guessing like your spells and other cards do the stuff as well. So when you attack, you get another charge, it looks like. There's animations on the card! That's like the, the burst effect. That is so cool. That looks so fucking dope. You got like a stat buff too. He's like plus two attack. So I'm guessing if you hover the cards, there's probably text on them, right? Because like, how else would you know that like your EM does three damage or eight damage or gives you an attack boost? Oh, attack buff, sorry. So there's a lot of information missing. But I mean, they did say this is like the first look. This looks so cool though. This is, uh, is this the water thing? The boss? The really annoying water boss that like takes like five minutes to fight because you have to go through the, they're like, oh, I will summon more friends. And you're like, oh, it's a turtle. And you kill the turtle like brutally. And then it's like, oh, the water is a never changing, punishing monster. And then it's like fucking like seagull. Oceanid, yeah, I hate that thing. Fuck Oceanid. This looks really cool though. This looks really cool. I'm actually really excited. It's a shame they said it was mostly casual and like there's no rewards for PvP. I know it was hopeful, but I was really hoping they were gonna like have a fully fleshed out game because how far out it is and they were gonna put like a ranked ladder. I know it's like not in the spirit of Genshin, but I would love to just queue up and be rank one Genshin Impact. I would love to tell everyone I'm the best Genshin Impact player in the world. The game starts with both sides drawing five cards. Okay, so you have five cards in hand. You then switch out any number of cards in your hand and choose one character left in your hand to be your active character. So does that mean every card in your hand Every card in your deck are characters, because what if you brick? What if you draw no characters? So I guess either every card is a character or you're guaranteed to draw a character then, right? Okay, so you have active characters. For each round, both sides get eight elemental die. So ED, I have that. Both sides then take turns to act and finish their turn. Once both sides finish, the round is over and both draw two cards. If I have ED, I can't finish though. So once both of you finish, you both draw two cards every round. Mention eight dies because in addition to the regular seven elements, there's also an omni element, which can be used as any of the other seven elements. Okay, so it's like a neutral element that can just be anything. So if you need fire, you just slam the omni one down and it can be fire. It's omnipresent. In the previous tweets I mentioned choosing an active character. At the moment, please keep in mind they could add it later. Not every not every character is a character card. One interesting thing is the omission of Ayato, although his sister is still there. Okay, so some characters are just not in the fucking game. He said one interesting thing, one interesting omissions I auto. So that probably means that like most of the big characters are there, right? Because he would have mentioned like them as well if it was an interesting omission. So all the big people are probably here then, right? Like the majority of them. 
like Raiden's going to be in the game. Venti's probably in the game. Yai. Because or else they would have mentioned them as well. I mean, it's impossible to know for sure, but... There's a lot of opponents to play against. A lot. Capitalize that. And these do include playable characters such as Sino or Fischl. Interesting. Sino actually has two types, friendly and serious. That's like a hard mode. There's Ascension Challenges ranging from Advanced to Legend, as well as Weekly Challenges ranging from Beginner to Legend. Weekly Challenges can also be against a character in the playable cast. Okay. Lastly, there are Open World Challenges, Golden card, Character Cards, the ability to max out proficiency with characters, difficulty levels, 220 cards, and of those, there are 25 character cards from the current playable pool. Wait. There's 220 cards, and there are 25 character cards from the current playable pool. How many characters are in Genshin? How many characters are in Genshin? There is 51, currently. So there's about half of them. That's not bad for a launch. That's really not bad for a launch mode. If they keep updating it. So they said there's a lot of characters to play against. So that's probably like 50 plus. So there's a lot of different people you can battle. There's playable characters you can battle. So it's probably like most of them. And there's a lot of challenges, it sounds like, right? Ascend challenge ranging from advanced to legend, as well as weekly challenges ranging from beginner to legend. So there's like going to be a lot of stuff to do. Even if it is a casual game mode, it seems like there's a lot to do. Sino Stretch is serious when he senses ass pulls. 220 cards from the start. You spoil me. That 220 is a lot on the start. Yeah, who knows how often exactly. Like, it'll probably be updated, but like, is it once a patch? Is it once every two weeks? Is it once a year? Tennessee with Sinora looks like pre-flame mon. Pre-flame pre Mothra out of Riven looks like. This is to Showcase. That is true, actually. That's what Legends of Runeterra did. They expanded on the League world using cards. I am going to be spamming content for this stuff, though, dude. I'm so excited. I'll make guides, the best deck for each character. I'll make how to complete all the challenges guide. I'll do all that shit. I got you guys. I'm going to show you how to be the best card gamers in the world. Join me on this journey as we become the best Tavot card slingers in all of the worlds we're hopping through. Yatta!